Okay, now we're going to go over how to wire up the Teensy and Octo board to the LEDs. So we're going to be using an Ethernet cable for this. Any normal Ethernet cable laying around will do. There are two ports coming out of the Teensy. Each one can hold in Ethernet. So that means each Ethernet contains four data lines and four related ground lines. So we can have a total of eight data lines coming out of a Teensy. Right now we're just going to use one, uh, one line. So what I like to do with the Ethernet cord is to bend it in half and then cut it right down the middle. This gives you two Ethernet cords you can use so that you have one for another project later. So we're going to cut it down the middle and then we need to remove the outer sheathing uh, which is holding the four, the four small pairs of wires inside. So for this you want to take some scissors or clippers and just cut right at the edge and then peel the sheathing off with your fingers. You can see wire cutters don't work great. Uh, sorry. So yeah, we're going to just clip it a little bit and then tear it apart with our fingers so that we don't damage the four sets of very small wires on the inside. So I'm going to speed up the video a little bit here, but you can see me just peeling them apart. Um, you want to give yourself maybe an inch or two of wire to work with because we're going to be soldering these wires to a JST connector. This is something that's optional. You could solder straight to the LEDs, but the strips already come with a JST connector on them, and it makes the whole project more modular. So we just need one data line, so we're just going to go with that orange and white wire. And we're just going to want to remember which color we leave so that we can match it up in the code later to tell the Teensy which pin to output the data through. So the orange is just going to be the easiest because it's uh, the first data line in the documentation. So we want to clip, um, use wire cutters to tear off the uh, outer sheathing and this you want to just go down each size until you get it just enough where you could pull it off with your fingertips yeah, you don't want to like rip it off like normal uh, 22 gauge wire um, and then you're just going to spin up the ends of the wires because it's um, not solid core it's there's many wire many tiny wires running through the inside and then we are ready to connect it to the JST connector. Okay, now so we're going to wire up the white wire on the JST connector to the white wire on the Ethernet. Those are both going to be our ground wires. And then we're going to connect the green wire on the JST connector to the orange wire on the Ethernet cord, and this is going to be our data line. So we're about to solder these together and then tape them up so you'll no longer be able to tell that the wires coming out of the ethernet are orange and white. So we're just gonna remember we used orange, that corresponds to data line number one coming out of the Teensy, and we're going to be using pin number two in the code um, to denote this. So just put a little bit of soldering iron, uh, solder on your iron tip to get it uh, ready to go and then if you're not experienced with soldering I would recommend watching some other videos on this but the key is really to get the wires hot before you touch the solder to them and you want to touch the solder to the wire not to the tip of the gun uh, to the iron so that it flows into the wire and you can kind of see this nice shiny metallic um, finish which is what you're going for and then you want your soldering iron to be on around 650 degrees. Uh, that's just the ideal temperature for um, LED electronics. I'm going off of uh, what all the ITP soldering irons are labeled as. They don't want us going above uh, 450. So then I'm using some clippers to just get some um, loose tips out of there so it's just clean. And then I'm going to wrap it up in electrical tape so that we don't have the data and the ground wires um, touching each other.
And if we were doing this for an installation, we might want to use some shrink wrap tube. Um, I've never had any issues with uh, connection uh, becoming faulty using this method, but I haven't made any pieces that have uh, been around for too long. So yeah, you just want to wrap up the solder points, and then you want to reinforce those little little wires around the edge. Um, just so if it bends, you're not going to accidentally uh, snap snap on the solder joints. So there we go. We got our Ethernet, and that's going to plug into the Teensy. We've got our data line coming out attached to the green JST wire, and then we have our ground line coming out of the Ethernet connected to the white JST connector. These are the LEDs and the JST that come soldered in um, when you buy them. So those two lines are going to go to the power <coughs> and ground in the terminal block. The other one's just going to snap in. So that red wire we don't care about, that's 5 volts. The green wire is the data and the white wire is the ground. So I'm going to go over a full view of the circuit, but we want the ground in the teensy to be connected to the ground in the power supply so there's one ground for the entire circuit otherwise you're gonna either have your LEDs not light up or they're gonna be really glitchy and you're gonna be like what's going on everything's plugged into each other it should be working so I'm gonna just count 10 LEDs and then cut the wire so that we can move on to testing out that this works with the teensy programmer uh, called teensy Duino and you're not going to be able to light up your whole strip because of voltage drop, which we talked about earlier. So you just want to make sure you have just like 10 LEDs uh, for testing. Um, if you have the whole strip plugged in, it's not going to work and you're going to be confused. And the last thing here is connecting the LEDs to the power supply. So we have those two wires hanging off the edge, which are going to be our Five volts and our ground connected to the LEDs and the Teensy because um, the JST connector is connected to the ground wire coming out of there. You're going to have to do this manually if you are working with LED strips that come without a JST connector. So we're just going to strip the wires, um, twist them up, and then connect the red one to one of the red terminal block screws and the black one to one of the black terminal block screws. And after that our whole circuit is set up so we're ready to move on to getting these to actually turn on. Um, all we gotta do is connect the Teensy via micro USB to the computer.